For this next segment, I will discuss on the long range UT technique or the LRUT technique. For inner spec technology, our LRUT technique is uh, based on a joint development with uh, our partner FPS Incorporated and it is a patented technology. It uses the magnetostrictive uh, technique, so it uses the magnetostrictive force to generate torsional wave mode. There are two forms of, um, two modes of inspection, one mode uh, of which is currently under development and another which we have released. The one that we have released is known as the axisymmetric inspection. So LRUT axisymmetric inspection. It uses this ribbon collar to transmit sound as well as to receive sound. It provides a pure wave mode and it has very excellent um, signal to noise uh, ratio as well as good resolution uh, axially. Uh, because, it's, uh, because the sound is transmitted along the circumferential of the pipe, it has no circumferential resolution. The next, uh, form, uh, the next mode of inspection is known as the synthetic focusing technique or uh, synthetic focusing uh, inspection. And it uses uh, the ribbon collar to transmit sound and motorized scanner that we are currently prototyping to receive sound. So what it does here is that the motorized scanner, when it moves, it provides good circumferential resolution as well. So in the, um, in, uh, the calculation that we have made, it's shown that for an 8-inch pipe, we can have a circumferential resolution down to 9 degree. So it's not only providing very good circum uh, axial resolution for a long-range UT technique, and um, it's a uh, for long-range UT technique. Uh, it has also very good circumferential resolution, which is a breakthrough in the long-range UT realm. So you will see in uh, this uh, recorded uh, session, which we have done early this week on the demonstration on the long-range UT technique using axisymmetric uh, inspection. So in this segment, we will show you the long-range UT axisymmetric inspection or what we call as LRUT light. So for LRUT light, InnerSpec technology uses the magnetostrictive technique. So we are actually adhering a MS strip permanently on this pipe. So the first thing that we need to do for this demonstration is to magnetize the strip. Once we magnetize the strip, we will adhere the axisymmetric ribbon on top of the strip. So that's it. The cable is connected to the Volta. And what we will demonstrate here is the ability of the access battery inspection for the long range UT to cleanly look at defects on both backward and frontward of uh, the access battery ribbon. So the Volta itself with its two channel uh, system will be able to cancel um, defects on both sides. So there are two defects on the backward side, uh, which is eight feet long. And there, is, there are four defects on the frontward side, which is 35 feet long. So some of the defects include this three quarter inch uh, diameter, 40% depth defect. There is a weld. There is another defect here. There are three magnetostrictive strip that we have permanently adhered and there is a defect, a very small one here, 20% depth, uh, 3 eighths of an inch in diameter, the welts of the elbows and also one defect between the elbow. So uh, let's look at how we are going to run the long range UT light on Volta. So first of all, we need to go into the Long Range UT application. I've actually created a project called Webinar, 
on this uh, application. And I've also created a component. And for this component, I'm assuming it's uh, 15 meter long. It's an 8 inch uh, schedule 40. And I've put uh, the datum as the end of the pipe. So from there, I click on the tool. In fact, I have selected uh, the 128 kilohertz uh, adapter for this long range UT application. So this is the adapter that I'm using. The tuning modules have already been uh, put into the Volta itself. For the test location, it is placed at 3.15 meter from uh, the datum with the range already included. And in fact, I have ran a frequency sweep uh, just earlier on for this application. Once we are done with that, we move on to scan, making sure that uh, trigger type is free running and that we have the right frequency, which is 128. Lower down the gain to minus 6. Can turn on the match filter and the averaging as well. Once we're done with that, can run the scan. That's it. You can see all the scans. Uh, in fact, I've created uh, uh, defects points uh, along this and I've uh, added a weld. So if I click on the deck, curves and categorization, you can see the defect categories as well as uh, the different deck curves appearing. The screen here shows uh, the test results from the axisymmetric inspection that we took superimposed on the engineering drawing of the test loop. So it clearly shows uh, that the axisymmetric inspection managed to detect six defects that are located on the upper length of the test loop. So let's analyze the results. The first big amplitude corresponds to the pipe end and beyond that, anything beyond that is uh, grayed out to indicate that um, they are region, it is a region that is not supposed to be analysed. The first defect is located below the pipe stand and this defect is 50% depth and 3 quarters of an inch in diameter. Uh, the first defect is located 6 feet 9 inches to the left of the test location. The second defect located at 3 feet 3 inches to the left of the test location is clearly shown here and it is 30% in depth and half an inch in diameter. The third defect which is located 4 feet 6 inches to the right of the test location has a depth percentage of 41% and a diameter of 3 quarters of an inch. The weld is clearly shown here, it's a big uh, amplitude and it's 10 feet 9 inches to the right of the test location. Defect 4 is located 15 feet 11 inches away from the test location and it is 80% depth and 1 inch in diameter. Test location 5, if you remember, we have three magnetostrictive strips located on test location 5 and they are all approximately at 23 feet away from the test location. Defect 5 is located 27 feet away from the test location and defect 5 has a depth percentage of 20% and a diameter of 3 eighths of an inch. We have the weld that we see, the first weld here and the first weld is located approximately 32 feet away from the test location and we have the second weld of the elbow located at 34 feet away from the test location. In between these two welds, there is a defect 6, which is approximately 33 
feet away from the test location. Defect 6 is 60% depth and 5 eighths of an inch in diameter. So from this scan results, we can clearly see that the axisymmetric inspection uh, for the long-range UT of Volta is capable of providing good axial resolution as well as providing excellent defect detection of different diameters and different depth percentages.